everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, it's going to be this look right here. It's a get ready with me for a date night. I don't have a date and I'm not going nowhere, but if you are, then maybe you will like this look right here. Okay, so let's get started. Please don't mind my skin. It's been acting crazy. I feel like I have more acne than I ever did when I was a teen. <laughs> But yeah, it's been rough. I'm just priming my face with my Fersali Rose Gold Elixir. I love this stuff and I just feel like my makeup looks amazing whenever I use it. So yeah. Next, moving on to foundation. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way and this is in the shade Warm Beige. I was lazy so I was just, you know, pumping it on my face. <laughs> I'm just going to buff this in with my beauty blender as always and this foundation gives you a nice medium to full coverage so this is definitely one of my favorite foundations and make sure you also get the neck next for concealer I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape um, I'm using two colors right here I'm using the light medium honey and then I'm also using the light neutral so I like the light medium honey because it has a little bit of a pink undertone so I like that to kind of cover up my dark circles and kind of cancel out my dark circles and then I go in with the light neutral to kind of highlight um, the rest of my face because I like the yellow undertone that it has of course you don't need two shades of concealers you can just use one shade but yeah th this is just what i've been using lately and i'm also priming my eyelids with it for my eyeshadows and here i'm just taking off all the foundation and concealer from my lips because i hate when i have foundation on my lips <laughs> For contouring, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick, and this is, I believe, in the shade Where's My Walnut? I will leave everything in the description box, but yeah, this is one of my favorite contouring sticks. Then I'm just going to blend everything out with my Luxie Large Angled Brush. Moving on to eyes, I will be using two palettes today, the Tartlet in Bloom as well as the Master Palette by Mario. So first I'm going into the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm taking the shade called Flower Child to set my eyelids. For my upper crease, I am taking the shade called Smarty Pants from the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm putting that into my upper crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. Next, I'm going into my Master Palette by Mario and I'm taking the shade Kim for my lids and it's a really pretty bronze. Something that you would see Kim Kardashian wearing. So I think this shade totally reflects her makeup looks. And then I'm going into the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm picking up the shade Leader. And I'm just putting that in my outer V with this Anastasia brush and then I'm flipping the brush over to really blend everything out. And then I'm going back into that same lid shade and putting that over my lid again and just kind of merging the darker shade on the outer V with the lid and then blending everything out. So this is how I just like to do my eyeshadows. I pack a color on and then I blend it out, pack it on again, blend it out. I just like to gradually build up my colors rather than going in with a lot at once and then not being able to really blend. So that's why you see me blending so many times, you know what I mean? <laughs> And 
Next for my eyeliner, I am using my favorite NYC liquid liner and I'm just doing a normal wing. I'm like right in your face right now because I just have to be super close to my mirror and my mirror is right in front of me there. So yeah, I'm just doing a normal wing. I am extending my liner when I get to the inner corner. Just gonna make your eyes look longer. Next for lashes, I'm throwing it back to Red Cherries. And these are the Red Cherry lashes in number 43. These were B lashes back in the days. But yeah, I really like these. They're not too dramatic or anything like that, but I thought, let's give them a try today. And this day I actually forgot to put mascara on before my lashes, which is so weird, I never do that. I think without putting the mascara before the lashes, it was easier to put the lashes on, I feel like. So give that a try. For my brow and highlight, I'm going back into the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm taking the shade called Funny Girl. And I'm going back in with the shade Kim again one more time just to make sure that I don't lose the lip color. And for my inner corner, I'm using the same shade Funny Girl, the one that I use on my brow bone. Next, I'm just going to conceal under my eyes one more time to clean up any fallout. To set my under eye, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Light Medium. I've been loving this powder recently it's so good and i'm just setting under the eyes and wherever i put concealer to set my contour i'm using the usual kat von d shade and light palette to brighten up my eyes a little bit more i'm taking the yellow shade the banana shade and the peachy shade and i'm just putting that underneath my eyes to brighten and here i'm just setting my nose contour For highlight today, I'm using MAC um, Oh Darling. Yeah, that's the one. Love this stuff. And for blush, I'm using Bomb Cosmetics Hot Mama Blush. Then you just want to take a dual fiber brush to just blend everything out. For lips, I'm lining them with MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. And for lipstick today, I'm using the new Huda Beauty Strobe Liquid Lipstick. I think that's what they're called. And this is in the shade Ritzy. It is so pretty. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. To finish up the lower lash line, I'm taking the shade Leader from the Tarte Linen Bloom palette on a flat definer brush to get it as close to my lash line as possible. And then I'm buffing everything out with the shade Isabel from the Mario palette and finishing off this look with some bottom lash mascara. Now I'm just setting my brows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. After that, we are all set. Result. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked getting ready with me. I just took out the braids and this is how my hair came out. I actually really like it. So I'm going to have my mom do this braid often. <laughs> so yeah, this is the final result. All I did for my hair was I just sprayed this way texturizing hairspray just in the roots and some, you know, along my here, right here and that's it I absolutely love this if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here and I will see you all in the next one mm -hmm.